guys, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today's going to be a little bit of a short video. It's going to be one of those one a month uh, video series that I like doing so much. It is going to be Lego City Lore, and basically what I mean by that is that, as you guys know, I have a Lego City, and basically I came up with a story with it, and I just wanted to share it with you guys and everything and talk about that. So. This video is kind of just an introduction to it, and just kind of talking about the different factions, why the military is all together and everything, and stuff like that. So, my LEGO City is very kumbaya. <laughs> there's probably a few villains, I mean there's a v bunch of villains in it, but it's mostly Marvel DC villains. Um, the Jedi and Sith are on a kind of, like... Li they're paralleled. They're not allies, but I mean, they're an understanding. Actually, both Jedi and Sith temples are right next to each other. There'll be a whole episode about why for that. Um, all the different armies in Star Wars are on the same side. It's just one giant military. There's different factions on that. I'll explain why in a separate video on that. Um... The Marvel and DC superheroes are working together. There is actually a Batman in training, which is kind of an inside joke. Um, it's Cedric Diggory. Um, huge, massive fleet and everything. The, and basically why there's such big military presence is because they just currently got out of a war with Cybertronians. They kind of did what we did, us as in Americans did in the 60s of getting involved in wars that we really shouldn't have, actually I should say in the beginning of the 2000s as well, getting involved in wars that they really shouldn't have just for energy sources. The um, city runs on several different types of energy sources, um, but the strongest one is Energon, so that's why they were involved in this war. But uh, Kuiper's another one, and other things like that. Um, I'm trying not to get into too much detail, just so that way we have more videos to talk about. However, I will just not say like certain things. Like there is a Jurassic Park there. There's uh, basically anything you've seen me reviews, guys. It's involved in the city. Uh, the major attractions to the city are Jurassic Park, as well as Hogwarts. Um, wizards do not live in secret, and there are actually several different forms of, uh, like, magic slash midichlorian sort of thing, um, where they interact with people differently. So what I mean by that is, in this canon, when you have a certain count of midichlorians in your body, you're only able to become a wizard when you have a higher count you're able to become a Jedi or a Sith um, and if you have a weird variant of it you end up um, becoming like a superhero so like Doctor Strange technically was a wizard um, in this canon but he chose a different path through magic but like somebody like I want to say Wolverine even though Wolverine isn't in there or Basically, any superhero that you could think of that was born with their powers, um, they had a variant gene of that midichlorian count, and that's what made them superheroes. Um, there's also a ninja school in there, the Jedi have a school. It's a pretty nice city, you guys have seen videos of it before, I'm not by it right now so I can't really film any of that as of right now, but we will be getting images of that soon but yeah i just wanted to kind of update about this series and i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like comment subscribe ring that bell and follow me on all my social media down below it's that nerd ryan telling you we are all lego masters on the inside